Hello everybody, this is SoyaChinchow.com and today we're going to do something really different. The Oppo Find 7 and 7A both comes with a VOOC rapid charging feature and according to them, it can charge from 0 to 75% in 30 minutes. To find out if it makes a huge difference, we're going to compare the charging times with the Samsung Galaxy S5, Sony Xperia Z2 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note. The Xperia Z2 and the Redmi Note has the biggest capacity of the lot at 3200mAh. For charging, the Xperia Z2 which we have here comes with a 1.5 amp charger while the Redmi Note gets a higher 2 amp unit. Next we have the Oppo Find 7 with its quad HD display and is juiced up by a 3000mAh capacity battery. The Vogue charger is quite unique as it pushes a maximum of 4.5 amps. The smallest in this comparison is the Samsung Galaxy S5 with a 2800mAh capacity battery and that too comes with a 2 amp charger. Without further ado, let's start charging the 4 smartphones at the same time. All 4 of them have been drained completely out of battery and it can't be switched on at this moment. The time now is a couple of minutes after 10, so we're going to start charging and we try to switch it on after 10 minutes. We like highlight again that these are completely drained out. And as you can see, both S5 and Redmi is showing 1%. So after 10 minutes, let's try to switch them on to see how they are doing. All 4 of them have been set to airplane mode for consistency and this should give them a quicker charge without the usage of mobile connectivity. Again, these are all set to airplane mode for faster charging. So it is 9%, 14%, 7% and 27%. So in about 10 minutes, the Oppo Find 7 takes the lead with over 25% charge in just 10 minutes. Holding on at second place is the Samsung Galaxy S5 at 14% and we do note that this is the smallest capacity out here. Meanwhile, the Xperia Z2 and Redmi Note is still holding less than 10% charge after 10 minutes. Well, let's just see what happens after another 20 minutes. Okay, the camera has just stopped before the 30 minutes marker. So after 30 minutes in, the Xperia Z2 gets 25%, S5 at 40%, Redmi Note at 26%, while the Find 7 has already surpassed its 75% marker, which is quite impressive. It is pretty obvious why the Redmi Note has overtaken the Z2 at this point. The charger of the Redmi Note pushes 2 amps while the Xperia Z2 is a notch down with its 1.5 amp charger. So let's just uh, continue on and see what happens after 15 minutes. So after 45 minutes, the Xperia Z2 does 33%, while the S5 at 53%, Redmi Note at 34%, and the Find 7 at 89%. And so there you can see, the VOOC charger is really making a difference in this one. Once it reaches a higher battery levels, we notice that the Find 7 starts to slow down with its charging. Let's try to leave it for another 5 minutes. 5 minutes on, the Xperia Z2 is at 38%, S5 at 60%, Redmi Note at 40%, and the Find 7 at 92%. And if you take a look at the Find 7, it shows here that it takes another 16 minutes to be fully charged. The VOOC charger works as a multi-step level charger. At 0% battery level, it pushes a maximum of 4.5 amp output and it slowly decreases to avoid overheating and possible risk of damage to the device. Of all, the VOOC charger does deliver as it promised and is very useful especially if you've forgotten to charge your phone overnight. As seen earlier, it managed to replenish 27% in just 10 minutes and eventually it managed to charge up up to 75% in 30 minutes. And that's just a quick charging comparison between the Oppo Find 7, Xperia Z2, Samsung Galaxy S5 and the Xiaomi Redmi Note. Thanks for the likes, thanks for the comments and do subscribe to our channel. This is SoyaChinchow.com and see you guys later.